Recognition is huge in this industry, we all know that. We all kind of downplay it for ourselves, like we're sort of, no, I don't need that, but we all love it. Here's the key though, I believe, and I've spoken about this previously, but I want to revisit it again. I believe the key is what I call unexpected recognition. See, the challenge is, all of you that have not yet made diamond, you've got this picture in your mind of when and if I make diamond, here's what it's going to feel like, here's what it's going to be like, and that's cool. It's wonderful. It's great. It's hallelujah. You walk across that stage, you get the plaque, you get the pin, you take the picture. Wonderful. Problem is, you've spent one, two, three, ten years dreaming about that moment, and it's very hard for the actuality of that moment, that recognition, to match whatever visions of sugar plums you've had dancing in your head for the last 10 years. Almost an impossible task for the company to perform. They do a great job and they do well, but there's always a little bit of, yeah, wasn't quite what I imagined. It was great, but yeah, it wasn't quite there. So here's the key. Challenge there is that that's expected. And so therefore there's been an expectation built around how I would feel and what it would be like, which is hard for anybody to meet because I don't know what's in your head. The key to recognition, I believe, is the unexpected recognition, the randomness of it. Even though it may be very, very calendared and, and systemic from your perspective, it appears unexpected from the individual. It's the, hey, so and so, you've had a great month this month. You, you know, sponsored more people than you have in any other month previously. Let's go to lunch. Hey, such and such, at the next convention, can I spend some time with you and pick your brains because you really seem to have this particular thing figured out. Reaching out, providing very low key. It's, it's morning tea, it's lunch, it's breakfast, it's a hallway conversation, it's a thank you, it's some flowers, it's some chocolates, it's whatever it is. The key is that it's unexpected. It's not, if you do X, I'll, I'll do Y. It's something that occurs when you've acknowledged something that's happened that's beyond the norm, at whatever level that is, and you reach out and say, thank you. And append some thing, some event, some flowers or some meal to that thank you, so it becomes a little bit more substantive. It's ironic to me that sometimes that recognition, albeit dollar value significantly less, actually has more impact on your people than the big time recognition that's expected. So think through what's going on, what's going on that's good in your group. What can you recognize unexpectedly? Appear to bounce around a little bit so that it's always unexpected, but always valued. And because it was unexpected, the full measure of the value of that recognition plus is what is felt and seen and then use as a motivator going forward. Again, don't get me wrong, making diamond, double diamond, etc., getting the big checks and the pins and the plaques and the photos, wonderful. But don't in the quest for that and don't in the process of that lose sight of the smaller, always unexpected portions of recognition that can come and can flow. The return on investment for time and effort and attention paid is vastly exceeds the amount of time, effort, and resources applied. Unexpected recognition is a great, great tool.